I get Previously. some. So do you have to have any jar? Are you eating these or are you sharing with other people? So this is all his. Okay. Hi guys, so this is Dr. Ahmed Ergi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we have two people. And we just uh, bumped to them. And what was your name again? Luandra. Luandra? Okay, Gerard and Luandra. So, uh, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna sneak into their basket and see what they got. And we are gonna actually talk about what is good and what's not in their bag. Let's dive into it. So, let's move on to the wife's cart and then see what's going on here. So, I think wife is doing a little bit better job here because wife got a uh, chicken breast. She's the winner. Okay, give an give applause to, to the wife. <laughs> She's doing really good. So, she got the chicken breast and look at what else she got. She got another cool thing here. I love this thing actually. And we're not sponsored by this, but this is a low calorie body armor that I, I drink all the time, especially on the weekends when I'm doing my kite surfing and wakeboarding, all the crazy stuff. It gives me a lot of energy and electrolytes. So this is really cool. And the calories in this is not that much if you look at it actually. So calories is 15 calories and the carbohydrates is 14 grams. So if you are really looking for something that is uh, sweet and but you don't want to have like an orange juice like this, you know. The total calories on this one is 140 versus 15, and I think it tastes pretty damn good. Does it? It does, right? Okay, so what else we got here? Okay, minis. Mini, mini is good, right? So you want to have small portions, and it's in 12 packs, so that's good. So you know, it, limiting the portion size is the first step. Now, when I tell somebody, like you come to me, uh, if you're a patient, if I tell her that, you know, stop eating this, stop eating everything, what is she gonna do? Screw you. She's gonna be like, I'm not gonna just, you know, stop eating everything. You know, I need to tell her, okay, let's start with portion size, portion control. And instead of buying the, you know, a big, big bag, start with small bags and maybe eat these small bags, you know, and then, and then we will make progress and we'll move on. And then what else we got here? Uh, frosted flakes. Um, now this is, uh, this is, I call this the rocket for blood sugar. This can spike your blood sugar just like a rocket does. So if you eat this at breakfast, but what would be the alternative to for this instead of frosted flakes? What would be better in your opinion? Any idea? Corn flakes. Corn flakes? Uh, uh, that's not the right answer. Huh? Rock flakes? That's not the right answer either. Oh my God. So, Cheerios. Wrong answer again. <laughs> any, any, any other guesses? So I would say oatmeal will be a better one, right? So oatmeal would be good. You don't like oatmeal? I eat it, man. <laughs> he doesn't like oatmeal. Still cut oatmeal, not the quick one. Because here's the deal. Anything that is processed, I always tell my patients, anything that comes in a package, gone. Gone. It's gone. Throw this away. Anything that comes in a package, needs to go. Now, this is not a package necessarily, but anything that is really processed, if you look at the ingredients, if there is more than five things in the ingredients, don't eat it. <laughs> All right, guys, what questions do you have? What questions do you have? Uh, you what questions do you have? You said you have a foot problem. Oh, yeah, I got a foot problem here. It, it hurts my right here. Um, um, you can bring your mask down to me. I had a stroke uh -huh. recently. So now I have a pain right here on my foot. Uh huh. Like when I walk, it's pain. On one side only? On one side only. Oh, uh, okay. Where is it? Is it on the tip of your toes? Right here. All the way out there? Okay. Okay, so if that's the case, more than likely one nerve is involved. It's not a diabetic neuropathy. So you will need to see a neurologist to get EMG testing done to see what nerve is affected. Uh, it could be stroke related or it could be something on your back as well. So if there's a pinch nerve that is affecting because the nerves go all the way down and they travel, it could be one of the nerves that uh, is being pinched or it could be due to something related to stroke. But definitely, when you have diabetic neuropathy, the both feet will uh, have numbness, tingling, burning, and stuff like that. Uh, if you don't have it, great, but if, you know, you need to make sure that you get your numbers down. So anytime your blood sugar average is more than 130, 140, 
know, if you are looking for trouble, yeah. So definitely, I think the first step, if you eliminate the carbohydrates mostly and start eating healthy, watch our channel, uh, I think uh, you will make a huge progress. Without medication, you can still bring your blood sugars down to a reasonable level. And if you cannot bring to normal levels, then we just give some medications to get you back to normal levels. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank we appreciate you. it. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And before you go, please uh, click on this video next.